always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. <laughs> I had to laugh. Pam Harris, who always sends some really good pictures to us at Storm Team 8, uh, she sent us this picture. Yes, the flowers are confused out there. They think it's back to spring with these uh, exceptionally warm conditions out there that we've had this fall and temperatures uh, past few days. Uh, well, yesterday, uh, pretty close to uh, uh, 80 degrees. Just remarkable. So there's a picture of a rose that is now blooming. <laughs> Okay, here's a live view, Holland. If you look closely, you can see uh, the leaves, or at least the remnants of uh, trees that still have leaves on them blowing pretty good. Any remaining leaves out there are probably going to blow off the trees today. And by the way, if you have any uh, Halloween decorations, if they survived yesterday, we have two more days with windy conditions. Uh, you may, if they're kind of loose, you may want to uh, tie them down a little bit stronger because we have another windy couple days heading our way. That wind is obviously out of the south, 70 degrees in Grand Rapids, 72 right now in Chabot against 73 degrees in uh, Traverse City right now. Okay, the high temperatures today, we're going to make a run at it again. We did achieve a record high yesterday of 79 degrees in Grand Rapids. We're going with a high today of 78 degrees. Our high temperature, our record today, is a little bit warmer in most cases all across the board. So they might be a little more uh, difficult to attain, but we'll keep a close eye on it. Right now, that south wind, 24 miles an hour sustained in Holland, 18 in Grand Rapids. There's some of those wind gusts already in the uh, mid to lower 30 range at the lakeshore. They'll gust up around 40 miles an hour. Even inland areas, even stronger at the lakeshore, could see some gusting up in the mid-40 range. Okay, you could see we're still solidly in the warm sector with a warm front up to the north. On the back side of this area of low pressure, that's where the temperatures are much colder out there, and eventually that's going to win out. Uh, future cast shows how it plays out. Again, another warm, windy day. A lot of high mid-level clouds out there off to the west of us. That cold front gradually getting closer to us, but it's very slow moving. Finally, it looks like it's going to move through tomorrow with a good chance of some showers, some thunderstorms. But look by the end of the day, and this is really key in terms of the timing of the rain. I think we're going to see a dry slot move in. So late to early evening hours, we'll start to dry things out just in time for the trick-or-treaters. But the first half of the day, we certainly have a chance of rain. That could amount to about a quarter of an inch. Severe weather, well, the marginal risk has really been trimmed back quite a bit compared to yesterday. Cold water is included in it, and also around the Bronx and Quincy area, but that's about it. Eight-day forecast for uh, Friday, Saturday, dry conditions, and then Saturday will end the weekend. I should say on Sunday, we'll end the weekend with a good chance of rain. And look at this wet pattern that it folds next week with a chance of showers and thunderstorms. We're in a deficit now, but we're going to put a pretty big dent in it, I think, next week. Tom, how are we looking on those roads? Okay, we have uh, quiet and calm conditions out there across area roadways to kick off your midweek commute. Taking a look right now at the freeways heading into and around the downtown Grand Rapids area. If you are getting ready to head out the door and make that trip into work or school or wherever your travels may bring you early on this Wednesday. Right now you can see all this green on our map, meaning drivers able to move along right now at those posted speed limits so far. Not working with any crashes or significant delays heading into uh, the downtown area. Take a look right now. Here is the S-curve, northbound and southbound US 131, heading into and out of the uh, downtown Grand Rapids region. And you can see we are working with light traffic. And notice we have those clear and dry conditions for drivers out there. I'll have another traffic update for you coming up in about 15 minutes. Teresa and George.